Hi, I'm Jesse Jackson, and this is your Look News 411. Saratoga Springs became a Vietnam War commemorative partner today. Saratoga Springs Mayor Joanne Yepsen received the plaque and a flag that announced the city's designation as a commemorative partner in a ceremony at City Hall. Mayor Yepsen explains what the designation means. It was a proclamation from the President of the United States and a packet of information that the city received. And we decided that this fit with um, our priorities and that it fit with our population locally and we wanted to apply and become a partner with the federal government to commemorate Vietnam War veterans. Now, Mayor Yepsen said that, the Saratoga, said that Saratoga Springs is the first local government in the county to receive the honor. Congratulations. The Glens Falls City School District is latest to have budget issues. Glens Falls is facing a gap of $3.7 million in this year's budget. The current budget is $38.3 million. There are three tiers of budget cuts Superintendent Paul Jenkins and the Board of Education discussed at a meeting last week. The cuts would affect everything from academics to athletics. And even with all the cuts, the district would still have a gap of $1 million. Now, Jenkins said they could deplete the $2.7 million in reserves the school has, but then they'd be left with nothing. They could also increase the tax cap, but that would need 60% approval from the voters. Budget meetings are scheduled for March 27th and April 3rd, and the public is encouraged to attend. A Saratoga Springs firm is working with Apex Solar to bring solar energy to the towns in the area. Overseas Lease Group will fund the $6 million project that would allow Apex Solar to build a 2.2 megawatt solar panel system in Washington County. Now, as we reported last week, the town and village of Lake George are interested in the project. If Lake George goes solar, they could save over $2 million in energy costs over a 20-year period. Well, Overseas Lease Group are also in talks to set up agreements with the towns of Bolton and Fort Edward. Overseas Lease and Apex are hoping to get contracts signed by April 1st. Well, join me right here every night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.